Under the agreement, CTR funds will, for the first time, flow directly to projects aimed at securing pathogen strains and sensitive biological knowledge within Ukraine. Now, the plan came together through the work of two U.S. Senators, Dick Luger, one of the namesakes of the program, and a junior senator from Illinois named Barack Obama. You may remember this, Dick. Uh, I was in Ukraine. We went to a facility, an old factory. We walked down these long, dark corridors. We're ducking our heads, stepping over puddles of something. We're not sure what it was. So we know these facilities exist and how they got there. But what are they actually doing inside? Well, according to a National Review report citing a 2011 conference organized by the U.S. State Department's Biosecurity Engagement Program, the facility is described as a biosafety level three lab, which works, quote, with microbes that can cause serious or deadly diseases through inhalation, e.g. like COVID-19, tuberculosis, yellow fever, SARS, West Nile, some strains of influenza. So these labs are a petri dish of some of the world's most contagious diseases.